Hi there, my name is Jessica Drossen and I create actions, textures, and overlays for photographers. Today I'm going to walk you through my new product, JD Seasons Endless Winter. The purpose of this product is to work with JD Forces of Nature and also for it to work alone. There's more color tones in this product as well as all new overlays for snow and actions for snow. So it works as a good companion for that original Force of Nature product and it also stands on its own. It just offers you much more variety in terms of what you can do with a winter image. In particular, I really wanted to focus on how you could easily but convincingly substitute uh, one season for another. If you're in Southern California like I am, we don't have a lot of access to snow. So I wanted to come up with a way that I could fake that for um, purposes of you know, some of my work that I do with um, book covers or holiday cards, what have you. So first off, I'm going to just show you, I, I included a background stock image that's just a bonus here. Uh, it's got some nice pine trees and a mountain taken up uh, around Mammoth Lakes. So you can swap that out if you just do some basic masking. Um, and now I'm going to show you what the actions are capable of in this product and walk you through one of my edits. So first of all, um, the season change. This uh, action actually goes in and tries to change photos that have no snow on the ground and, and give them some. Um, there's a more saturated and a less saturated version. I think that the more saturated version tends to work better on images that have less greenery in them. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. And it's going to just take a little bit. Now, as you can see, it also desaturated my skin tones. So what I'm going to do now is I have two options. I can either open up this folder and I can go in and I can individually uh, tweak some of these things uh, with masks. Or I can just do a universal edit uh, masking with a black brush here. and basically keeping this at a fairly low opacity. I'm just going to do a couple of passes until it feels right for me. As you can see, I'm not getting really fussy with how I'm masking this. Number one, this is just a quick walkthrough. And, and number two, I tend to think that things um, look a little bit better when you don't have really hard edged separations with your masks. So in my opinion, I'm getting closer. It's going to have a little bit of a fashion feel here with some of that desaturation. And I'm going to go in and just take out a little bit of the snow individually. raise my opacity slightly. You can do with this as you want, but I want to take it off a little bit more of my skin tones. Move a little bit of it down here at the bottom as well. All right. So I'm going to leave that as it is. And now I'm going to go in and add a little bit uh, winter tone back into my image. Now you don't have to use season change, but uh, you can go ahead and just use these color actions without that, especially if you already have snow on the ground. I'll show you how these will look. There's cool breeze, Everest. frostbite. And now you see when I do have the season change, it actually looks quite different. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more here and just so you can have a look at what these do. There's ice cream, muted winter. 
Again, I have these above the season change action. If I have them below, it's a little harder to see the color effects. That's rich winter browns. There's warm winter. Winter blues. And lastly, winter night, which is going to darken things up quite a bit. And I think uh, for purposes of a demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and pick winter blues and perhaps maybe muted winter. Um, I'm going to go in and just remove a little bit of the saturation. Oops, I need to make sure that I do that with a black brush. Move a little of that saturation here. All right. I'm going to get rid of any of these empty or hidden layers just to keep my file looking a little neater. And now um, I'm going to go down the list here. There's rosy cheeks. That's an action where you will actually paint in to add a little saturation back to any uh, skin tones. Winter vintage, uh, winter saturation. I'm going to go ahead and just select this. So that adds a little bit more saturation. And it, it does it in a way that's going to mostly affect the cool tones. Um, and then let's see. Um, see if I want to add a little bit of a. So I'll go with winter mist here. Lower that. There we go. Um, and now I'm going to use a little bit of the Silver Bells paint. This is going to simulate a little bit of a frost effect. I need to make sure that I have white selected and I'm painting into that layer mask with a soft white brush. And I'm just going to go anywhere where there would be maybe a little bit of snow collecting, or frost. So on the tops of these, I don't know what these are even called, these car part things, the hood. Okay, so the ties. This is just a nice, some of these are just nice, subtle little details that are going to help you add some realism to your image. And now if I want to add a, more snowflakes, you can go and you can pick flurries. Flurries is going to be very uh, detailed and small in the background. I'm going to go ahead and remove these flurries from my foreground image. Just let them sort of be more off in the distance where it would be natural that they would be smaller. And then just to show you, I'm going to also add some larger flakes. You can add big flakes or I'm going to add snowflakes. It's kind of the medium one is, is snowflakes. It's not as large as big flakes and it's not as small as, as the flakes that you see in snowstorm or flurries. And then I'm going to also just mask it out. Some of these. Um, now additionally what I can do is I can go ahead and add um, one of the, the brushes and can, uh, draw in some of my own snow accumulating there at the bottom. To do that I'm just going to go up here to my brush window and I'm going to say load brushes. And I find my JD Endless Winter Snow Brushes. I hit open. I go all the way to the bottom of the set, and there they are. There are four of them. They start with this 45. And I make sure that I have white selected here, and I'm going to select a new empty there, and I'm going to call this. A snow brush. 
and let's see, it's set to about 68. I think just so you can see it, I'm going to set it higher to opacity of 100. And I'm just going to start adding a little more snow here at the bottom. And now I'm going to use this snow brush. That was number four, but this is 134. I'm going to make it a little smaller. You can go in and adjust the size to whatever you want it to be. A little bit of snow on. Tires here. in the hood of the car. Now if I don't like anything I can just easily mask that out by I clicked on the mask button and now I'm using a black brush. And I'm going to go back to a, a non-snow brush. And I just mask it out. Like kind of having I, I don't like it to all be at 100%. I like to do a little bit of masking. I think it helps to add some realism. Kind of softens the effects. All right. Now I could play with this a little bit more and just keep keep tweaking it. I think I'm going to do one last thing and add a little golden winter light. I'm going to make sure that I have my white selected. Just paint a little rays right in here. Move my winter saturation all the way up to the top. And let's see, maybe just a little cool finish. And I could, you know, just keep playing with this until I got it exactly how I wanted it. But uh, in general, I think you get the idea of what's what's possible in here and how you can play with these these actions to really customize and make. Uh, create the scene that you want to create. Hope you enjoy them. I hope you have a lot of fun and, and have a great time playing. Thank you so much for watching this video.